We're back here in Bonn, almost six months after COP23, but this time around, without the pomp and ceremony that characterizes the COP. During this technical session, the main attractions are the Paris Agreement Work Programme and the Talaloa Dialogue. We need to achieve a good basis for the negotiation of the Paris Agreement Work Programme, which is the operating manual of the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement provides the general framework, provides also the objectives that countries are working towards, but how to do it and how, what kind of instruments will we have in order to measure progress towards that goal? That's what is being discussed right now. And of course, it's, uh, it's complex and the agenda is very broad because also uh, it has to take into account the realities that we have in different parts of the world and the responsibilities that each of the countries have. With deadlines looming ahead of the Katowice Climate Change Conference at the end of the year, this session has a lot to deliver on. For me, one of, um, there are two very clear things that I think we need to get out of these next two weeks. One of them is clear progress on the rulebook negotiations, so making sure that we move all of those informal notes and the, the pro progress that we've banked at COP23 and get a clear text and also a clear mandate going forward. And the second really important thing is obviously progress around the Talanoa Dialogue and making sure that not only are we getting really strong evidence of real economy progress and, and that countries are doing something, but the countries also have a really sincere conversation around what is working and what isn't working yet. I'm particularly involved with the market-based mechanisms and we have a particular concern that they have to deliver environmental integrity, meaning we can't just have market mechanisms uh, per se, they have to be ensure that they're going to deliver real climate change outcomes. And we are not seeing that, you know, the, the views of some parties are not saying that we're going to deliver that sort of outcome at this stage. Yeah, of course, we need results. We need concrete results. For example, we need uh, to, to finalise our work uh, capacity building work programme. That is very concrete, concrete agenda that we need to maybe to finalise right now. We also need to have concrete results on the IPCC, um, IPCC maybe assessments on 1.5 degrees Celsius. We need to have concrete results about it. It's challenging. Uh, we cannot say that this is going to be easy, but I'm very hopeful and I uh, believe that everybody here is committed to making good progress towards the goals of the Paris Agreement. As you can see, there'll be everything to play for in the next two weeks. So please stay tuned as we continue to bring you daily video highlights from Bonn.